Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, Dale here. How's it going? Uh, for this video, I have a older, probably about three, four year old Asus ROG gaming laptop. It's the, um, the Strix GL702VM model. It's a uh, 17.3 inch screen, lighted keyboard. It ships or comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and only a 128 gig NVMe SSD plus a one terabyte mechanical hard drive for extra storage. Uh, for this customer, we're just gonna upgrade the SSD from a 128 to a 250. That's what the customer wants and that's what they're gonna get. Now, of course, you can go with any size, two 500, one terabyte, two terabyte. There's real no limit on that. But I'm just going to show you how to open it up, get the new SSD in there. And in this case, I'm going to do a clean, fresh install of Windows 10, 1909 edition, once, I'm, once I install the new SSD. And I have a video on that to, so you can see how to do that. Um, and there's only 10 screws. That have to come out and they're all the same length i've already taken out the screws didn't want to bore you with that that part's pretty simple so i'm going to peel it open and see what i can do to get started here all right guys so like i said i've taken out all 10 screws on the bottom that's pretty straightforward i'm going to use a little spudger tool here don't use metal screwdrivers so you don't want to booger it up so what we're going to do is go start right along there's a seam right here we're going to get our tool in there and these these do come off these bottom pans come off fairly easy i've done these before so i'm going to get my tool in here and get started in the corner over here kind of working along gently in the front here you can see it popping right off i should be able to get it started here You can see that didn't take much at all. So they got the bottom pan off, no big deal. <clears throat> and first thing I'm gonna do though, just to be safe, is right here, I'm gonna disconnect the battery from the motherboard. There's a little metal clip that you're gonna gently slide back to lift the connector off the main board. So use a plastic tool, please. Don't use any metal tools in here. These come off pretty easy. Just like that, I've unplugged it. You can see I've lifted up the, the battery cable here. Just to be safe, here's our, here's our NVMe drive right here. We're gonna take out the one little screw right here and I'm gonna install the new uh, 250. In this case, it's a Western Digital Blue NVMe. You can use any brand. I use Samsung, Crucial, and Western Digital. And this is what the customer wanted was uh, Western Digital. And over here is your one terabyte mechanical hard drive for storage and your 16 gigs of DDR4 of course your fans your GPU CPU this has six gigabytes of dedicated RAM just for the video so that's kind of nice battery life ain't the greatest uh, the G-Sync is kind of notorious for sucking battery so what I'm going to do is take my screwdriver carefully I'm going to take out this little screw right here get my NVMe SSD out and it pulls right out of the slot just like that I'm going to put the new one in its place put the screw back in and guys that's pretty much it I'm installing that taking the motherboards out of these models as well that's not quite so easy but very doable so watch your speakers of course you want to let those get out of place so now I'm going to reconnect your, my, my battery here you see it just pushes back down but you got to remember to push this little metal clip back in place to hold that connector on the motherboard So there, I got the new NVMe drive in right there. Put the screw back in. It's pretty much that simple. This model has the Intel Skylake i7 
7700 HQ processor in it. It's pretty fast. Just snap the bottom pan back on. Take your time with it. There, we got the new NVMe 250 gig instead of a 128. I'm going to do a fresh clean install of Windows 10. Get all my updates and up to date graphics drivers right from NVIDIA. It's usually the best way to do it. And that's pretty much it. I appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.